And this has seen some better days already. We're starting to make another window over here. And there used to be a floor here. Yeah, that's you. Well, they gotta put the shovel on. Well, hey, good morning. Oh, it's maybe afternoon already. It's about 12.30 in the afternoon and uh, just went uh, checking the cows here. I wanted to put them on the bale grazing. This is actually the first day that I don't have to chase the cows out of the bale grazing. Guess the wires are up and um, so uh, I got another little piece here. I'm not sure if the cows are gonna come and graze, but uh, we're gonna see what happens. They don't seem to be, we'll see in a few minutes if they're gonna be following us or not. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift, put this lifter up here. I think that'll stay for now. I'm gonna see if the cows will follow me or not. I don't know if they will. They'll dictate what they wanna do here. Still a bit of a mild day. You know, it's just, this is a field that we only cut once. This is second cut grass. It's better than no grass, so. Oh, the cattle are grazing. Too bad we couldn't get everything that would melt. All this snow would melt and they would have grazing here for a while, but it's asking for a lot once when you get past November 15th. Remembrance Day, that's kind of our, we get any uh, grazing after that, that's all bonus days. So today is November 27th. We still got about three more days of November and that's gonna be behind us. So we're still grazing. The cows are getting underneath here and uh, there's still a little bit of grass is poking through. You can see they're kind of digging through, finding some of the grass. So I think we're gonna be good here for today. So I'm very pleased with that. It's, uh, all I'm thinking is when I drive with the truck, they're gonna follow me out again because they've been, they'll probably be getting, thinking they're gonna get the easy feed. They're gonna be eating the uh, hay that I made for them. Hey, what's going on? Hey. Oh, hey guys. What a, yeah, so this is Willy, and this is Pupy. You're gonna say Pupy? Yeah, it's Pupy. My wife, all it's uh, P U P would be pup. We weren't going to keep him because uh, he is about nine months younger than this one. And this one was a surprise, and this one was a surprise too. In fact, this one was born underneath our old summer kitchen. Oh, about three months later, his mother died. His mother was actually 11 years old, so these two are brothers. Yeah. And Willie was born when December 15th, when we had a fire. Well, not when we had a fire, but we were living in the other house, and I came into the kennel, and there's this little, there's, uh, mother was radar, there's this little puppy. It was you there, yeah. So he stayed in the shop for the longest time. Oh, dude, the guys don't have to argue, it's okay. You're a sibling, so I guess they can do that. So I'm not sure exactly what I'm gonna do here. I got the cows here on pasture. So we'll see what happens here. Well, I'm not sure if these cows will be happy today. But the other thought is, if I were to go and cut this hay with the hay bind, there'll be a cost to it and bale it. I'm probably able to get four bales of hay out of it, so I'm feeding them three bales of hay right now. Not the great stuff, but this still has got some pretty good quality stuff in it. I throw a block of salt there, and we'll see if they're gonna actually stay there or not. If they are, then, uh, well, look at that one, go for the salt. They haven't had salt for a few days. So if they stick around there, what I'll do is leave them here. But if they're gonna come out, well, if they're gonna come after me, then uh, we'll just have to uh, take them into the bale grazing. If I can get another day out of it, this will be great. In fact, I'm gonna leave them for today. They can actually graze this down a little bit, I think. There's still some stuff being exposed here. Supposed to start to snow tonight, so tomorrow I can actually let him into the bale grazing. So this is the bonus, very good bonus. 
lifter actually helped putting the wire on it. The, the cows weren't uh, rubbing against it. And they didn't knock the wire down. Well, if I could graze like that for another 120 days, that would really cut the feed bill for the winter. But I think I only have one more day. I didn't let the chickens out this morning. Poor chickens. Let's go let the chickens out. It's like a spring day, a March spring day today. If I can lift it up with one hand, then I know it's not frozen. Oh, I think they're good. Good, good, good. You know, the cows are kind of satisfied there. I'm actually happy. Readjusting. Recalibrating. Is that what they say? Recalibrating. Recalibrating. Hello, cat. Well, this is the whole house that I spent 12 years in when I was a kid and then we moved into the house trailer. And this has seen some better days already. We're starting to make another window over here. Well, the wall's starting to collapse and uh, so, and I'm taking the cabinets out. So I got one out already and there used to be a floor here. Yeah, that's you. He, Willie took all the floorboards out. You can see the bite marks there. So, so yeah, I'd like to take everything out of this house that I can. We're taking out the, uh, uh, I got a lot of cleaning up to do here, I see, or one room at a time. It does feel like this floor is bowed a bit too. It's, uh, uh, this is the inside of it. Oh, look, there's a Christmas tree here. So, yeah. So I'm just going to work on that. The door's all gone because somebody chewed the door off. I think that was you. See, you got the evidence in your mouth. So on the cattle operation, the cows are actually still in pasture. So they're actually, well, they're grazing the field right now. <laughs> I thought it was pretty good. The cows were grazing here, but uh, they got locked on the other side. I think the cows are gonna follow me, so I think we'll take them into the bale grazing this morning. I didn't have that lifter tied up at all because the cows were probably rubbing on it and it fell down. Lift it up. So I need to get these cows to the bale grazing. Now on the other side. Shouldn't be there. Oh. oh boy. I think this will be the easiest way. Good that cow came out from the other side of the wire. You're under one of these uh, wires here. Well, they gotta put the shovel on. Okay, I think this wire should stay here. Might help if I put it into drive. So the goal is we gotta get these cattle into the last row of bales there. How's this all gonna work? Up 
I'm gonna set it up so it goes on the other side. So that's where the cows will exit. And then they'll go towards the yard onto the right side of those bales there. Well, that went really good. I was gonna go the other way and then, you know, I might as well then have, uh, say the bad words that I shouldn't say and uh, didn't have to do that. Work smarter instead of harder. Yeah. I gotta fix that squeaking on that tr this truck. This is annoying. I don't know if it's the belt or what's going on. All right, well that worked out not bad. Less than 11 minutes the cows are fed. So I think uh, a little bit later on, I'm gonna bring the portable windbreaks out to the field here so that the cows have a place that they can uh, hide behind. And uh, when it gets windy, Portable wind brakes are there. I don't mind them there, but uh, if we can have them on the field, that's where our hay field is. And that's where the cattle will kind of, they'll spend a little bit of time and they'll uh, increase our fertility on the field too. Well, the bale grazing has started for the season. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Well, gone because somebody chewed the door off. I think that was you. See, you got the evidence in your mouth.